and welcome to my video series about writing a master's thesis in 10 weeks. As you can see, I have exceeded the plan with one week right now, and this will be continuing for some weeks forward until I have finished my master's thesis. Why am I doing this video? Why am I doing this video series? so that I can help myself to reach this goal and to share my knowledge with others and especially with you, my dear follower. What did I plan to do last week? My only goal for last week was to ask from my thesis instructor what do I need to do right now for attaining the grade 5 which is the highest grade from a master's thesis. What did I accomplish last week? By looking at the work time, I have been uh, working on my last, during the last week on my master's thesis for around seven hours. Last week went mostly to polishing the text, to work on the text so that I can uh, hand it in for my language response and also to prepare the text for analysis. Which insights do I have? Well, I have no need to write exactly 80 pages for attaining grade 5. It's mostly um, the grade is based on the quality of the text. How many sources, which sources, the langu language use, um, own ideas, um, so that you can elaborate not only to, uh, how would I say, to create sort of an e review of the sources that you have been looking at, but also that you are presenting uh, your skills to think critically. I need to next do the analysis for my master's thesis, and I need to polish Polish the text for language response, which will, I think I have to hand in um, next week. And to write the analysis, discussion and concluding parts. To improve my work efficiency, what should I focus on? Well, I think that um, when I was looking at the work time, uh, I was a bit loose with the working time. So, I need to be mindful with my working time, and how can I do that? I need to work according to the Pomodoro timer, uh, which helps me to distinguish between when I'm working and when I'm, well, taking a break. And especially I need to pay attention to uh, beginning and ending my workday as planned. I think that this will help me to, well, work efficiently, so that I know that now I'm going to begin to work. Now I'm beginning my work and now I'm going to finish no matter what. So I think that by um, following these principles, well basically these two, working according to the Pomodoro timer and beginning and ending my work day as planned will help me to uh, improve my work efficiency. And that's it for everything for this week. Um, let's see how many weeks I still have to go. Uh, my plan right now is to finish everything well, three weeks, that would be nice, but, well, I will keep that as my goal. Thank you for watching.